In this week's Meet and Make, we're going on a treasure hunt around our house and local area to collect as many selfies of ourselves as possible. I want you to search out as many ways to make distorted and contorted selfies as possible. Smushing your face against windows, use reflective surfaces, draw disguises on paper to hold in front of your face and collect as it as many images of yourself as you can. If you're a bit camera shy, you could collect distorted hands or feet selfies instead of faces. This activity is based on the Making of Husbands exhibition, which is on at the Baltic at the moment. You can see images of the work if you visit the Baltic's website. In this group show, ideas of identity, gender and representation of human form is shown. Christina Ramberg talks about her paintings as constraining, restraining, reforming and compressing the body, that we as humans alter our appearances to fit into certain surroundings, maybe by changing our hairdos or what we wear. The materials you need for this activity are a camera or phone to take photos and a collection of things with shiny surfaces, such as a mirror, spoons, saucepans and DVDs. You could also look around your house and see if you could find reflective surfaces such as bath taps, door handles, letter boxes and washing machine doors. Things that you might find outside are wing mirrors or reflections in car windows, shiny metal on park slides or even puddles. Some of the materials I used to further distort my image were cling film, tin foil, pens and paper and glasses filled with water. First take photos of your reflections in as many different reflective things as you can think of. Find a glass door or window and pull funny faces through them. Have someone be your photographer and take pictures of you, then switch and take photos of them. We can also use mirrors to distort our appearance in them by putting a layer of cling film, tin foil or bubble wrap over the mirror. We can add to our appearance by changing your hair and accentuating facial features by redrawing them on paper and adding them to the top of your face. I found a little drop of water or moisturiser helped keep them in place while someone else took a picture. The last thing you can explore is filling a variety of different glasses or clear plastic beakers with water. Line them up at the edge of a table and get photos and video of your face or hands behind them. If you move slightly you will find the glasses act like carnival mirrors and will stretch and distort your face. 